Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. 2 Timothy chapter 1 This is the Amplified Version. Timothy charged to guard his trust. Paul, an apostle, special messenger, personally chosen representative of Christ Jesus the Messiah, the anointed by the will of God, according to the promise of life that is in Christ Jesus. To Timothy, my beloved son, grace, mercy, and peace, inner calm and spiritual well-being from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God, whom I worship and serve with a clear conscience, the way my forefathers did, as I constantly remember you in my prayers, night and day. And as I recall your tears, I long to see you so that I may be filled with joy. I remember your sincere and unqualified faith, the surrendering of your entire self to God in Christ with confident trust in his power, wisdom, and goodness, a faith which first lived in the heart of your grandmother, Lois, and your mother, Eunice. And I am confident that it is in you as well. That is why I remind you to fan into flame the gracious gift of God, that inner fire, the special endowment, which is in you through the laying on of my hands with those of the elders at your ordination. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity or cowardice or fear, but he has given us a spirit of power and of love and of sound judgment and personal discipline, abilities that result in a calm, well-balanced mind and self-control. So do not be ashamed to testify about our Lord or about me, his prisoner, but with me, take your share of suffering for the gospel. Continue to preach regardless of the circumstances in accordance with the power of God, for his power is invincible. For he delivered us and saved us and called us with a holy calling, a calling that leads to a consecrated life, a life set apart, a life of purpose not because of our works or because of any personal merit. We could do nothing to earn this, but because of his own purpose and grace, his amazing undeserved favor, which was granted to us in Christ Jesus before the world began, eternal ages ago. But now that extraordinary purpose and grace has been fully disclosed and realized by us through the appearing of our Savior Christ Jesus, who through his incarnation and earthly ministry abolished death, making it null and void, and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel, for which I was appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher of this good news regarding salvation. This is why I suffer as I do. Still, I am not ashamed, for I know him, and I am personally acquainted with him, whom I have believed with absolute trust and confidence in him and in the truth of his deity. And I am persuaded beyond any doubt that he is able to guard that which I have entrusted to him until that day when I stand before him. Keep and follow the pattern of sound teaching, doctrine, which you have heard from me in the faith and love which are in Christ Jesus. Guard with greatest care and keep unchanged the treasure that a precious truth which has been entrusted to you, that is the good news about salvation through personal faith in Christ Jesus, through the help of the Holy Spirit who dwells in us. You are aware of the fact that all who are in the province of Asia turned away and deserted me. By Jesus, and Hermogenes among them. The Lord grant mercy to the family of Onesiphorus, because he often refreshed me and showed me kindness, comforting and reviving me like fresh air, and he was not ashamed of my chains for Christ's sake. But instead, when he reached Rome, he eagerly searched for me and found me. The Lord grant to him that he may find mercy from the Lord on that great day. You know very well how many things he did for me. 
and what a help he was at Ephesus. You know better than I can tell you. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.